So here are the two games in question. We have two copies of Otogi 2 for the original Xbox. And maybe you're thinking that these got rejected because they don't have Y folds or because they don't have the Xbox security strip. Trust me, we are going to get into all of that in just a second here. But first, I do want to show you guys, if you've never had a game rejected by VGA before, hopefully you never do have a game rejected by VGA. This is the form that they give you. So they gave me two of them because they rejected both of the games. And all it says on it is that the item was refused for the following reason. Game Game has been resealed cellophane type and seal method differ from authentic examples so they don't give you any more than that that's uh that's all you have to go off of they don't tell you what looks wrong with it or why it's wrong they just say that um yeah it differs from authentic examples so that is why in this video here i'm going to examine these with you guys and hopefully we can come up with some reason as to why they were rejected and i will send both of these off to wada games as well or i might send one off to wada games and i'll send the other one off to cgc just to get an additional opinion on them as well because i'm very curious and i'm not fully convinced yet that the these are reseals. So let's go ahead and examine these a bit closer. So Togi 2, if you guys don't know, kind of a rare Xbox game, kind of expensive these days. Both of these copies came from Deal Tavern on eBay. Now I know some people have had mixed results with Deal Tavern. Some people say that they only sell reseals. I haven't had issues ordering from Deal Tavern in the past. If you have any personal experiences with that eBay seller, let me know in the comments below. The first thing you're probably wondering, yes, both copies do have the security seals on the side of the game. And I actually even reached out to an Xbox expert who says in their database these stickers and the numbers right here and the numbers right here are the correct security strips that should be on this specific game. So I at least feel confident that these are real. So I don't think these were the issue. It has to be with how they're actually sealed. So then we can look at the tops of the games and you can see that both sides do have Y folds. If I go along there, you can see it's kind of ripply. I like there is glue there. Everything was pretty much how I would expect to see it on any other Xbox game. If I go over to this side of the game, it does have the nice little overlap there going all the way down. Again, generally what you would expect to see on factory sealed xbox games looking at the bottoms of the games again you can see there are y folds in either corners there the y folds are pretty darn clean like looking at them it doesn't look like they're messy or anything like that they have the uh nice folds as far as i'm concerned nothing really stood out about either of these copies and now that i'm hyper alert about it and like they're telling me that oh maybe the cellophane's wrong or something maybe it's a bit softer to the touch or it doesn't bunch the exact same way on the corners maybe uh, you know i'm kind of looking for any reason at this point to uh think that they aren't authentic when i first sent them in i had really had no red flags nothing stood out to me at all about either of these games so the other interesting thing about otogi 2 is it is published by sega and inside of this there is a small sega registration card so if i just go ahead and shake it here right there you can hear it and you can hear that on both copies of the game. I'm pretty positive that that is the small Sega registration card that comes in fully CIB copies of this game, which would mean that both of these copies have authentic strips on the sides here and are also fully CIB copies of the game. And that's why I am so confused as to why they were both also said to be reseals, which is why I am going to be sending them off to the other grading companies, like I said. I need a second and third opinion on these. If the other companies also say they're reseals, I mean, at that point, we'll just open them up on stream and see what the hell is inside let me know down in the comments your thoughts on these two games if these are in fact reseals then they are essentially terrifying and that is not good at all that is not good at all if these are actual reseals not good at all but like i said hopefully you never get this dreaded piece of paper yourself and hopefully you find this to be kind of interesting make sure to hit the like button on the way out and i'll see you guys in the next video